Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Bruin Build. Today you can see some stuff behind me that I didn't mean to uh, look this way, but you get a little glimpse as to what we're going to be building today. There's something in front of me as well as you, if you watched last yesterday's video, then you should know, but uh, we're going to get into some building and uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun episode. I really enjoy the concept we've come up with and uh, got a lot of conceptual stuff today. So if you enjoy the thought process stuff behind building and you want to hear my ideas and stuff for the city and my plans, definitely stick around because, wow, that's weird. That really moves the camera now. Um, definitely stick around and watch this video because at the very end, we are going over the main concept of this and so i'm really excited so yeah let's get into today's video it's gonna feel weird because it's gonna cut like immediately like i'm continuing in episodes because we just cut this into two parts but hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys uh, i guess in like two seconds but it's like past me so i guess i'll see you in the past but in the future but i don't know what i'm saying enjoy the episode guys all right, so I have been slowly transitioning all of our shulker boxes over here to our main work area now that we have this place all set up, and uh, I've laid out a kind of a block palette. Now, this is not, like, strict. We are not going to stick to this, like, on every single build there is, but this is what I kind of want it to be. I want it to be lower portions are... Uh, well, primary wood that goes all throughout the build is going to be acacia, uh, log, and spruce wood. We're low on spruce. Um, spruce wood is going to be like the main plank and fence and accent um, color. And then this is going to be like the log texture. And then I want the bottom portion of the buildings to be primarily uh, granite slash brick. And I also want them to be, um, oop, I want them to be stone as well. So we'll have uh, primarily stone and stuff here. Let's actually lay this out in the way that it's going to be. Um, let's get some, I've got stone. Let's grab some cobblestone. I want it to be a good mixture of i just want to lay it out for you real easy all right there we go this is a little bit better representation um oh it looks like we ha do have some mobs spawning over there not bad though for all of this area not being for all this area being like lit that's not bad that's the only place that they seem to be spawning um so lower portions like where we are now up until probably like 10 or so blocks into the build is going to be primarily stone and then it's going to be transitioning into this granite. And I want it, it may be more like five blocks up starts transitioning. And then a third of it, I want to be uh, this granite texture. And then we're going to get into the upper portions that are one of the terracotta variants. Um, these are the ones I'm going to lean towards. This is going to be the main one. We want uh, white terracotta to be the main color because it's it's not like a... A color i suppose it lets us uh, have a little bit more variety um, and so we're going to have white terracotta be the main uh, primary building block we'll use these as accents and then uh, our glass is also going to be probably what i'm leaning towards is trying out this new glass that i've got um, i think this is a, a a nice glass to go with it goes well with our woods and i think it's gonna be pretty decent let's grab three more so that you can see the pattern there so that's what our glass is going to be and uh, we'll probably use some orange glass as well and so that is the game plan let me go ahead and get experimenting a bit with some different build styles and uh, i'll be back with you and hopefully we'll have something to look at all right guys so i have been doing some work and firstly i wanted to say i've made a texture change and <clears throat> you guys i don't know if you like it i like it um we're currently in an old version of our texture pack um that shows acacia wood currently we're using acacia wood to be more of a jungle color and uh, i've decided to 
challenge myself and get rid of the jungle color, this original jungle color, and go with the acacia color. I've also challenged myself to change our wood to the new Minecraft wood texture because it is better than the old Minecraft wood texture, and I think it's not a bad texture at all. So, if you didn't know, the new texture looks like these are the new Minecraft textures. And uh, the reason why I didn't like what acacia, lo acacia wood looked like is not because of the orange. It's because of that little line right there. I don't think it's dark enough. I don't think it stands out enough to feel like wood. To me, this feels very plasticky. Here, let me grab. This feels very plasticky to me, this wood type. Just feels plastic. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. And so I've made a change. So these are the new wood textures as well. They look gorgeous. I love just, I just love them. I think they're great. But we're doing something different. So resource pack. Let us get this, which just has all our older textures in it that we're using. The live updates, which is what has our new textures in. And now let's take a look at what I've done. So they're very, very similar, but they've got a little bit of gray in them to kind of dirty them up a bit, but then also it makes them to me feel a bit more apparent. Um, it feels more like they're actually there to me. I don't know. I may be alone in this. I don't know, but this is what it looks like now and I like this more um, the color I think is good I toned it down just a little bit and made it a bit more um, I guess a lighter orange just barely and now we have these we have the new logs but with this texture and I think we're going to run with this for a little bit it is a little bit different um, I have added this sandstone in as you can see that is what our roof looks like now over here. And I really don't think that looks bad. I think that is perfectly acceptable for a roof. I think that looks pretty dang good. As you can see, also the wood textures are different on the logs. Those are the new Minecraft wood textures. And what I think I'm gonna do is do what we did in our previous ones and have the shadow on the sides. And uh, I think that'll be good. Now, our birch texture, I will say, is not any different. I think, in fact, I'm going to have to change a tiny bit of it up. And let's just take a look-see at this really quick. Do we have any birch on me? Here we go. This top part. Eh, not really. I don't really have to change it. But this is what the birch now looks like. I think this still looks great. I love our birch texture. But everything is now up to date. Uh, our Even our jungle logs are up to date. Still look like jungle, I think, very green around it and stuff. I think these are great texture updates. I think Joppa has done a great job. So I wanted to bring this, uh, point this out to you because we're going to take a look at it in our build over here. So as you can see, I have a facade built. And this is, uh, by the end of the video, we're going to have, we're going to take a cut here in a second after we look at this, and I'm going to have two versions built up to be able to show you exactly what I'm thinking. Now, this is, I'm bringing you in about halfway to the concept of what I want this city to be like. As you can see, I've been messing around with the wood, what wood to use, oak or not oak, acacia, not acacia, what have you. So I really like this bottom portion, and I like what this is looking like with the um, acacia stairs. I do think that it looks pretty nice, and I know it doesn't make sense to run far away and then kind of zoom out, zoom back in, but whatever. Um, and I think it adds a nice touch, the orange. It, I think it's it's nice. It pops. Um so I want your guys' opinion on this, but let me go ahead 
and continue building a bit to come up with a fully fleshed out build right here. So this is not even how tall it's going to be. Um, because imagine we're going to have, oh, we're not flying. Imagine we're going to have a roof that, if we can land, ooh, a roof that extends up not quite to there, but it's going to continue and it's going to wrap from this block, which is uh, right, yeah, here. So it's going to be about here. And this wall will continue this away. <clears throat> and it's going to, so it's going to continue this way. And it's going to be actually all the way over to here. So it's going to be the entire length, like there. Um, it's, I was going to originally do it just here, but I don't think that that's actually going to work. I think that's going to be too skinny and I think that'll look weird. So let me continue building a bit to come up with a more fleshed out idea. Put some fences and stuff down right now. This is pretty bare bones. Um, and uh, I'll come back and I'll also have another type of build done that is the idea I've got currently is pretty radically different, um, does not actually really incorporate uh, the pointed roof idea, but I wanted to experiment. This is a good time to experiment to figure out what we um, want out of this build. And so I wanted to kind of experiment with that. So let me get the building and I'll be back in just a few. All right, guys, so this is about as far as I've gotten on this concept. Um, I am just struggling with this idea. I, it's too boring for me. Like, I, I'm just bored of this. I don't know what it is. I'm like, like, it just seems boring. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And I've been, I really want to make this area like super unique and really push almost the boundaries of what we think Minecraft, like how, how you should build. Like we always use the same color palettes and the same blocks. And even though we're starting, we're mixing it up with adding granite. It's still like stone and wood, and they're the normal types of stone and wood. Um, so I have a concept that's right behind me that I'm really, really excited about. And I'm going to show you in the creative world as well, the even more fleshed out. So I built up two different types of this house it connected to one another so I could see how it would work. And they're a little, a touch bigger than these, uh, I believe. Actually, no, they're the same size. Same size um, in width, but very, very, very different materials. And it's going to make our city, I think, crazy unique and feel really cool. So... This is the concept. I have to back up all the way over here because the roof sticks out so dang much. So this is the concept that I think I want to go with. So we've got a, a bunch of different things going on. We've got acacia wood. We've got orange terracotta. We've got dark oak. We've got birch fences and trap doors and buttons. And, uh, oh, I just changed the acacia door so it matches everything now. And, uh, yeah, well, and that's, and then, and then the piece de la resistance. Sandstone roof. So it still matches over there. That's like country bumpkin style. And this is the city, li city life. And I really like this build here let me actually look at it get closer and more in the face of it and then white stained glass i love what this looks like and look how this feels like imagine having to go buy a row of these like this feels gigantic does it not 
This feels massive. And honestly, this house is not a big house compared to what maybe one that is like further down here. Like if we did one that's like lines up with this or is like somewhere around here, that would be, this is what, 30 some, 34 blocks tall or something. I would imagine there'd be another like 20 blocks added onto this up in an even bigger like top portion. Um, it This is more typical st steampunk kind of sort of um whenever you look up steampunk stuff on the interwebs like steampunk minecraft stuff the roofs are very um big and what i've noticed is it always starts like a small base and gets like ridiculous on the top like physically would not work because the bottom would be so dang small that it wouldn't work up top but in minecraft it works um, but here, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got some cactus, got some little farms going. And uh, that's one idea I was already playing with is different how to change these builds up so that this doesn't get too boring. And I think I've got a concept that's going to be actually pretty cool because it's going to be the main part that you interact with as a player. So let's go into the creative world. I'm kind of nervous to stand here because there's been a creeper standing on that side right there all day. But let's go into the creative world and take a look at this. As you can see, I ran out of dark oak. But we're not only going to use dark oak. I have some other ideas to change this up so that we, uh, we have a little bit of variety. So let's go take a look at that. All right. So here we are. And here is that exact build. Um, I just built it up block for block, and these are my measurements. And uh, yeah, it's it's very cool. We can take a look at this now a little bit closer up. This is uh, what this portion right here looks like using, trying to use not crazy amounts of detail. Um, trying to keep it relatively simple but detailed enough that it looks fully finished. And then this area up here is a little fun. So this is like a four story building because this is a little stick out thing, which could be like a little bedroom or something like that, which I thought was a fun, a little fun thing to add to this that adds a bit of flair to the roof. Um, but then you get to this one, which is, I was just thinking like, I don't want to have a ton of these just like boop, 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 boop type of roofs like these up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't want that. I want to have different roof types. Even if they're on the basic same level, I want them to be different. And so I am challenging myself in how to create these things so that they are different. Uh, one thing we are going to have to do with these is we're going to have to like the center of this is right here anything across the street is going to have to be lined up with this gap because this swoop is actually longer than ha that the half of that gap so these will run into each other if we're not careful so we do have to be sh careful and planning and we have to line them up so they actually line up like uh like opposite so they almost slot together um which i think could make will make for a more interesting city um not everything will be lined up and perfect i think it's going to be interesting to have a little bit of diversity in the uh way buildings are placed but i wanted to try and make this an interesting build so what i did was i was like well you know what why don't we make a more circular build That'll definitely throw off the pointedness of it. And so I bump this out. So these bump out by three to right here. So it's three from this. And that is all the way across to get this flat face. This one bumps out by three here on either side. So it connects well with this, but it bumps out by five on this one. And so then you get this nice little spherical almost type shape. 
which I think is really nice. But then I was like, I, I think it'll it'll look weird if we don't have at least a little bit of this type of roof style. So I made a baby one. And uh, that can just be like a, a little, little viewing area or a little viewing nook because it's really not too much. Like, it's not going to be too crazy. Um, now, I did change up the walls to be cyan terracotta. That was the original plan, was this cyan terracotta. Um, and this is uh, what a shop would look like. How uh, Ways to change up. The ways I think we're going to make everything different is the bottoms. The tops will all be the same types of materials, I believe. We may change up the terracottas a bit, just add a little bit of flair, but the wood and the orange terracotta are going to stay the same so that there is consistency all throughout. The roofs will be made out of the same material as well. Um, but the windows are something that we could change up to be a or the, this area here. These three slots could be our means to make the city diverse and feel really cool. Because imagine, like, you're walking down here. We're going to interact with these portions the most. So if we want, like, sugarcane, like, this is going to be our sugarcane farm. This is this will be what it is. Um, we'll have our sugarcane out here. So we know, hey, and maybe we'll change this to this green terracotta. Also, um... Well, first let's finish this thought. So this is this is like one idea for a store. Is this bottom section of the building is where the store portion, quote unquote, store would be. And so it would have like it would go out a ways here, and there would be the store portion. But then we could actually have our farms built up inside this building. And these don't even have to have interiors fully decked out in them. Um, be, like we can make these like the more ridiculous sized ones could be our farms even this would be a decent like sugarcane farm if we make it tall enough like we can make it stack up we can have the pistons and the the thingies and the redstone and the the stuff to be able to actually do that and i think that could be really fun a fun way to have these um be our shops and so i've come up with some different concepts um, for shops to try and make things a little bit interesting. So firstly is like, just like fish or prismarine. It could be prismarine, but something to where the bottom changes to these two block types to where I was thinking dark prismarine on either side and then the regular prismarine here in the uh, center, because this is a really busy block. Uh, this I thought could be a fun potato farm and tie in back to the town of Moore and bring in our uh, andesite. I think that could be fun. This is actually one that I'm really, really, like, wanting to do because this block, the composter, would be annoying to have to make all these, but look, like, that doesn't look bad at all. And it looks pretty decent over here. So I was thinking, like, doing these as this and then the dark, strip dark oak would be the center there. That could be fun. Also, the bottom texture is nice too. It's very simple, but it is a nice, nice texture nonetheless. Um, actually, this and this are the two. Uh, this is stripped birch, and this is regular birch. Those are the two that I am pretty in favor of right now. Um, switching out because look, look at this. So we've got dark versions and light versions. Um, let's let's do this one. The reason why I chose birch is because it goes well, in my opinion, with orange. I think it goes really, 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 really well. Oh, I am so sorry. There you go, buddy. You can go back to normal. So it goes really well. And, oh, oh, I'm on the ground. I'm on the bush, I mean. Just look at that. That looks really nice. And we could honestly make like maybe a birch store. The ba the th concept is that this may end up being like our storage area um, that we use, that we have like all these different things. And we may just have storage of this stuff in these houses. And so our birch is held within the birch um, area. 
the birch like store. I don't know. Um, we also could just have like a tree farm or something like that. Um, but this actually surprised me too, that this actually looks pretty nice as well. Just regular birch. We don't usually build with regular birch, but I think that looks pretty dang nice with our texture and the orange. White and orange just seem to really go. Uh, sandstone also works really, really well if we want to make a cactus farm. Kelp farm, um, I this actually goes pretty well, the kelp block, so we could do that. And then melon farm, I changed, since I changed all the logs, I changed the top of the regular jungle wood to be not green because I thought it added a nice diversity. Um, I don't know why, but I think it adds a little bit nice log. Like that just feels like a log to me. The green log didn't feel as loggy to me. And so I thought we could do something with the jungle. I'm not really sure. That was just a random, the last idea I had. But as you can see, there's, this is kind of the build path. These are the oranges that we were dealing with in the acacia. And then we get into, these are the various bottom textures. I think that will be like main house textures. If it's a house, it'll be one of these textures that is not like, and there's nothing special going on. Um, if it's not a house and it's a store, then we can get creative with the bottom build and make it a bit more interesting. And even do some crazy stuff like this and have like really unique signs or something like that. We could have something like that. I think that could be pretty cool. I just made this random thing. It kind of looks like the Waystone, <laughs> the Waystone logo. Um, but I made this random thing just because of wanting to see what a hang, like a hangy downy thingy would be on a roof. And I think it looks fine. Um, I'm not really sure how to feel about it because it kind of interferes with the idea I have for the central dock portion. So we may stick to having just hangout signs be more in this area. Now, I want to get into this concept here. Why the green? Well, my thought is that we could have a green walkway along the main walkways to emulate grass. That this is their way of making grass for themselves. That it's because they can't have really like actual grass growing up here in the city itself. This is how they emulate it. So it's all terracottas and jungle, jungle logs. And I thought that could be a pretty cool idea. It makes it look like it's almost grass, but it's not. And I, I do, I kind of like that idea. I think that's a pretty cool concept. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, just ignore my derpy. This was just so I could like look at it and feel like it's kind of floating there in the sky because those are fake clouds. But I'm a derp, I know. So I know this is very different than that idea, but to me, that idea is kind of boring. Not the bottom part. I love the bottom part. But um, this is, I think, this feels like a city to me. If I had a gigantic row of these types of houses and stores and stuff, it would feel like a city to me. So I wanted to uh, run that by you. Get your thoughts on it. What do you think about this concept? What do you think about this concept? What do you think about this concept? And uh, yeah, just let me know because I'm really excited about this, but maybe I'm a loon bird. But I think this is a really, really, really cool idea. I did also change. Oh, I added something. I changed the sandstone, as you know. But let's get, where's, uh, do we have a crafting bench? Well, we can just get one. We'll get a crafting bench and sand. Um, let's get eight sand. There we go. And dye. Get orange dye. So I added this to our data pack. Because I don't want to go and destroy our Mesa. I added this to our data pack. Orange dye, eight sand. Eight red sand. I know it's red sand and it's technically, but I mean, that's orange. That is straight up orange. So that is a, con a thing that I added. And that's more because I don't want to destroy our Mesa because red sand is pretty limited. Um, I don't want to destroy our Mesa to get it, but this build 
requires a lot of red sand and it's honestly a bit ridiculous to craft and the sand is a lot more plentiful with deserts being so much more abundant so i think it's just a quality of life change that i'm going to implement for myself so i don't have to go and kill our mesa but anyways guys i think that it's going to do it for this episode if you like the video please feel free to leave a like in real life and if you're new here and uh, you're really excited about this giant concept right here then feel free to subscribe join the little family we've got going here and i'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.